welcome back to another video of Activeverse Universe Tip. Today guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to grow your hair really, really, really fast. Actually, your dreadlocks. It could be your hair, but mainly it's your dreadlocks. Before we get into the video, you know what we do here. Here is intro. Intro. Again, I'm gonna show you guys other people's journey for two years because my dreadlock is almost two years. I don't know if you've seen the last video, but I'm gonna show you guys other people's two years uh, update and my two year dreadlock. And I'm gonna tell you guys the secret and how I got here real fast. Okay, so I just searched up two year dreadlock journey and whatever is pulling up, that's why I'm gonna review. I know this guy, the Munch Bowl. Uh, he comments on my videos so shout out to him and he's doing really good pretty good with his dreadlocks and with his channel in general so I'm gonna review basically his two years and uh, we're gonna compare it to mine it's not even it's not like to say that you know his dreadlocks is bad or anything at all So y'all saw the whole transformation of my dreadlocks from day one to two years. Flat dreadlock, and that's the way I you know. So you guys play. see that uh, the length that he had? I mean, it's pretty good. I'm not saying his is terrible. I think uh, his is actually pretty pretty good for two years, to be honest. But uh, let's see somebody else. What happens when you dye your dreadlocks, man? Look how thin this is. I'm gonna have to reconnect it. But. <laughs> well, that oh, just happens. You dyed it way too long, or you bleached it way too long, bro. I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all gotta watch these videos I be posting, man. <laughs> That's why you gotta watch these videos like this. To know that what what not to do, you know what I mean? But this is his two years right here. Well, yeah, I need to cut. I already know I need to cut. I'm gonna try. Don't flame me, but like your boy's been doing like a little bit of brushing on the sides. So we are gonna see if we can get a little wavy on the sides. I don't really know. We gonna try it and see what happens. If you guys see like from when I first started to you know where I am now, like you know it took two years. It's a lot of patience. I'm still nowhere where I want it to be yet. I kind of want to get it to like shoulder length. It's getting there though. So I'm showing you guys these proofs because you know what I'm saying like this is two years for me right here, and it's curled right now as you guys can see. But you know with it being down and it's all the way around. So how do you get to this in two years, bro? In one year, I literally have my dreadlock like right up, right, right here, man. Two year, boom. Three years, boom. Four year, like it'll be like few things, few, 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 very, very few tips, and it's so easy. It's so easy and so simple. And at the time that you start your dreadlocks is the key to your length check. A lot of people have afros or you know just some kind of hair on top of their head, and they just let it sit there not do anything with it, not have any protective methods, not moisturize it, and not drink or have a nutrition that is based, that, that could be good for your hair basically. And so to start off, a lot of people will not look at to eat good for their hair. Nobody would really do that unless you know you, your hair is really, really struggling. So let's scratch that off because I didn't even do that. I just ate what I had. Let's go to protective hairstyles. What are the things that you're doing right now to make your hair longer? Meaning, what are the things that you're doing performing right now to your hair to protect it from getting damaged, breakage, shrinkage, or or it can even be to where, you know, you're just ripping out your hair. Like a lot of times, you know, you let your afro be for a long time and you comb it out, you're gonna end up ripping out a lot of hair. And that is the problem that you guys have a lot of times with getting your hair to where needs to be at to get in it started for dreadlocks. I'm gonna start calling it, I guess, a prep for dreadlocks. 
So the prep time should be at least six months, at least. A lot of people start dreadlocks at like, you know, the month of after they had a wave, a month later they started dreadlocks and they have like the little coils and stuff like that. It's like, that's cool if that's the hairstyle that you want to rock at that time. But if you really want a dreadlock for long term, I'm telling you to wait six months to a year. Like I said, I waited a year. I did different hairstyles, protective methods to protect my dreadlocks and then I transition to dreadlocks. The second thing that I would recommend is not to crochet needle your dreadlocks often. So a lot of times that people, you know, get those crochet needles, uh, I've recommended it before. You don't want to overdo it because crochet needles will shrink your hair or shrink your dreadlocks tremendously. When I started my dreadlocks, literally my hair was like this length. When I got my dreadlocks, it went like all the way up here or even it was standing up, but it just literally cut it in half. The reason why I'm telling you guys not to use so much crochet needle is because crochet needle, what it does is you have to pull some hair from the other side to pull it to this side or vice versa, right? So whenever you're doing that, you keep continue to do it you pulling down you pulling up all your hair that, that could be going down you pulling it up all the hair so it can be locked locking them is not a problem and this it shit it's like it's not a wrong thing to do or you know having fixing what I did in the previous video it's not a problem as long as you've had enough length of growth so last time y'all saw me I had to fix some of these literally some of these roots because last time I went to a loctician or before even when I did it myself I used to just twist it like this with a gel or whatever boom call it a day and then a few days or a few months later it starts to come out again and so I waited about almost like a year I would say to uh, till I put that crochet needle on my hair and uh, fixing my roots so it's like you have to be careful not to touch your hair too much because from touching your hair from doing stuff to your hair you will cause a lot of shrinkage you will cause a lot of damages or a lot of your hair ripping out and stuff like that with that being said be careful of the crochet needles that you use and how how often you use it because that will cause a lot a lot of shrinkage on your dreadlocks third thing is i would say moisturizing you gotta moisturize your hair I'm not the best at that. Meaning moisturizing is not just putting water in your hair. It's literally just like maintaining your scalp so that it can have the best, I will say the best luck of growth. It needs oil, it needs your natural oil. Sometimes it lacks that. And so you need to give it some, some kind of oil that works best for your dreadlocks. What works best for me for my hair may not work best for you. So you might have to do some research and try out different things. Cause a lot of people recommend coconut oil, maybe because they will work out for them, you know? It might have, I don't know. That's probably why they're recommending it. And a lot of people recommend like essential oils, you know, the olive oil, all different things. So try out different things that work out best for you. That doesn't cost you a lot of dandruff or a lot of buildups. Do ACV rinse often, uh, I, I would say once every two to three months ACV rinse but shampoo you can shampoo your hair or uh, you know your scalp as often as like once or twice a month so you smell good so it smells fresh and everything so those are the three tips that I have for you guys to get your dreadlocks really long but the best the secret and I might have mentioned in the beginning is wait to start your dreadlocks don't just jump into the dreadlocks and when you jump into dreadlocks of course your two-year length may not be as equal as mine but first of all, I didn't start my drill. I couldn't say I started my drill locks from the roots because really nobody starts from the roots. You can't start drill locks from just tiny centimeter or an inch of growth. You know what I'm saying? You have to wait till it gets somewhere. So my two year journey is so different than other people for that reason. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I would say I'm proud of my dreadlocks because they keep their thickness and they keep their thickness because I allow them to keep the thickness. I don't retwist it too much. I don't touch up on the bottom of my hair on the roots too much. I don't I do not do too much stuff, man. Do all that extra stuff people do and all the extra hairstyles they're trying to do with dreadlocks. That causes you a lot of hair damage and also will result with a lot of uh, buildups at the end of the day. Cause you know, whenever they do your hairstyle, especially locticians or anybody that's uh, use a lot of gel or a lot of too much stuff in the hair will end up causing a lot of buildups and you don't want that. But for those of you guys that are free forming, I would say you still have to maintain your hair. You still have to try to shampoo your hair or wash your hair as often as you can with your dreadlocks. At least I would say once a month or twice a month. Take care of your dreads and free form. Usually people don't go free form for two years. Or I would say the most I've seen is like, I've seen of course crazy amount of free forms, but a lot of people quit about a year or two, two years I would say. After that they, they're done. They're like, I don't want to free form no more. Because it gets boring, you can't do much stuff with it. It's just literally just free form. The weekend cut his hair after maybe like maybe four years or so. But you know, he had to do it for his 
for the culture or for his music or you know it's like he had like a perfect way to advertise himself or whatever in a in a perfect way but a lot of people actually start freeform and then later on they end up turning to like amine he started out as freeform and turned it to a regular dreadlocks and there's a lot of rappers nowadays also that are starting as a freeform and then later on turning it into a regular dreadlocks but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up if you guys want more content like this let me know in the comments but till next time keep acting diverse and creating your universe i'm act diverse and i'm out stay tuned you dig?